Hello friends, this is Culture Drop. I am Galen. Today, I'm talking about one of my absolute favorite tools and skills to use for communication to level up our communication skills, uh, and that is tell me more about that. That phrase, that tool is something like bring that with you, adopt that, have it ready to use at any time. Specifically today, I wanna to talk about two ways in your life that you can use that that are so important, whether that is for you're a leader, you're part of a team, a colleague, and all of your friendships and relationships with other human beings in your life, whether that is your friend, your family, your romantic partnerships, like just like human interactions. Number one, somebody sharing an idea with you. And specifically, I'm talking about if you hate their idea. So somebody comes to you with an idea that you think is harebrained or not or ridiculous or you don't like it or it's not possible, it's so nice to be able to be like, tell me more about that. There's two reasons that that's critical. Number one is it gives you a second to pause. Instead of just trampling on their idea or be like, hey, that won't work because of this and this and this, it's nice to be able to be like, tell me more about that. Where are you coming from? Uh, and just take a pause before you like, like I said, trample on their idea. Secondly, it's nice for them to have the opportunity to tell you why they think it's important. So where are you coming from, right? Ask questions like, why do you think that's important? Like, uh, all right, what's the value of that? Like, I wanna understand and be curious and hear where you're coming from. This is how you make somebody feel listened to, is you actually ask them questions and hear what they have to say. <laughs> and responding to ideas like that doesn't have to be dead serious. Also, there can be some levity around it. I know, for example, with my team, if anybody on my team comes to me with an idea and I respond by saying, tell me more about that, they know that I don't like their idea and it's okay. Because um, what I'm just saying really is at initial glance, I don't love that idea, but I'm willing to hear you out. I'm willing to hear why you think that's important and listen. And that space is so important, that currency for human beings to be able to be like, I just wanna feel listened to. I wanna be able to say why I think this is a good idea. We can address the reasons that it won't work later, but don't trample on it before giving someone the opportunity to feel listened to. And that is so important, whether you're a leader, colleague, part of a team. Number two, conflict and feedback. And this is like next level, master level communication kind of stuff. And you hear something from somebody else's mouth that you don't agree with, that you don't like, or that makes you feel really emotionally fired up or frustrated or angry, like right off the bat, it's so useful to be able to say, tell me more about that. For the same reason, to give yourself a second to just take a beat and pause and listen. When we become defensive, we stop listening. But as soon as we become curious and ask to be like, hey, I wanna hear where you're coming from and, and hear you out first. And it can be anything, really. It's like, Galen, if someone came to me to be like, Galen, you're a terrible listener. Like, tell me more about that, right? Or like, I hate my job. You're the worst boss I've ever had or whatever. Uh, to be able to respond to someone by just saying, tell me more about that is nice. And give yourself that moment to like take a pause and be chill. And this really is, in terms of self-development and your ability to navigate conflict or feedback with other people in all relationships in your life, this is next level stuff. It really is. It's being in control and in check of your emotional behavior. So you might say something that makes me really angry, but for me to be able to like recognize in that moment that I just, I need to hear where you're coming from. It's like, where, where's that, where's that true for you? You come to me and say, you're a terrible listener. I probably think that I'm a great listener, but instead of arguing with you, like if someone's like, Hey, you don't listen to me. Instead of like, yes, I do. I listen to you all the time. What I really want to find out is like, why? Why is that your experience with me? Why is that your perception? And so by asking to listen, to be like, tell me more about that. Where are you coming from? Like, when does that happen? What does that feel like? I want to understand. Because ultimately it doesn't matter if it's true or not, right? Cosmically that like I'm a good listener or not, it's that this person's experience with me is that they don't feel listened to by me. And that is important. And as a friend, as a colleague, as a, as a partner, as a leader, I want to improve that experience. And I think that that as an end goal is that we want to improve other people's experience with us. We want to improve like the interaction and impact that we have on other people. And it's important. And so arguing about whether or not something is true is less important than like, why are you having that experience? Let me understand where you're coming from so that we can make that better. And that's what we should always want to do is improve other people's experience with us. And to be able to hear things that you don't like that make you upset and respond in a really cool headed way, it, it really is kind of next level emotional intelligence. Just want to say one last thing about this that is so important about the impact of using this phrase is that it is incredibly diffusing. When somebody's upset at you, or, right, or they're coming at you with a lot of emotion, it's really diffusing to that person. If you respond, instead of reflecting that emotion and, and intensity in terms of 
right? It's for you to be able to say, hey, tell me more about that. Where are you coming from? And to like calm somebody else down and be able to diffuse all of their energy to say, hey, like right now, I don't need to defend that. I just want to really truly understand where are you coming from and hear you out. 90% of all the conflict that we have with other people can be uh, resolved or greatly diminished by us just coming into those situations by being willing to listen and ask and be curious and really truly understand someone before we respond, before we come in with our opinions, right? Before we try to move towards a solution. It's like, I want to understand you first and listen and ask you questions. And then let's move through this situation uh, and address with what you said and what experience that you're having. Jay, you don't realize my chops, my photo chops. I'm skilled. I'm gonna go for some interesting angles down here. Look at this. That's my shot, like a National Geographic. Bow. Dude, you, dude, when you see these.